I know I'm so late to talk about this, but we are finally getting a Universal Monsters Land at a theme park in 2025 called Dark Universe. There's going to be two brand new attractions and 14 animatronics, which is crazy to think about. Normally, Universal just uses screens on most of their attractions, and I think there will be some screens on these rides, but I'm glad they're using so many animatronics. But now let's talk about the full First ride, which is Monsters Unchained, the Frankenstein Experiment. This ride features Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman, the Mummy, Gilman, also known as Creature from the Black Lagoon, and some other monsters. This attraction is going to have the same ride movement as Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. I thought it might be actually a little bit faster than that ride, but I don't know if that's true. And the carts are a little bit different but it's gonna move basically the same. There's also a ton of construction photos of Dark Universe in person that I can search up online. And it's very cool to see how fast they are doing all this stuff. Now the last ride I wanna talk about is this Curse of the Werewolf Roller Coaster. And what's awesome about this is that the cards spin when you are riding it. So if you're not into roller coasters or spinning rides, I don't think this would be for you. But for me, I love these type of rides. I love roller coasters and spinning rides. So this would make a great experience to go to. But can we just go back to the animatronics for a second? They are so realistic and incredibly cool. Like, these might be some of the best animatronics for theme parks I've ever seen. They're so professional looking and like... Just looks so new with like the technology they use. Like even the Frankenstein walks around and like the movements on these are so fluid and oh my, I need to stop. <laughs> and I have one more thing I want to mention on this short video. There's this restaurant inside a dark universe and they have the Frankenstein windmill that's burning on fire. And it looks super cool just from like the concept. And I can't wait to see what it looks like in real life. I don't know how they're gonna pull that off, the fire effects and stuff, but we will wait and see. But anyways, I'm giving this land a 10 out of 10, even though it's not even done and open yet. That's just how good it looks. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm very excited for this park to open. So that's like it, guys. So bye, and don't forget, the clowns are coming. Ha ha, bye guys.